Hello guys, this is me Pricey, and today I'm here with the fourth episode of the Zip Crowd Server Let's Play. And since last episode we didn't do a whole lot of progress, we just finished the rooms, well we made the rooms, and the block pushers for them, so the blocks when they get into them are getting pushed into that one layer of 13 by 13 blocks. And for this episode I want to finish the complete system now. And I want to do the block pusher, so the block transportation system, so the blocks get transporta uh, transported from the silverfish spawner, which is behind here, as you probably should know, to the single rooms back there. And for that, I got a pretty cool design, and let me quickly show this to you. Yeah, that's okay. So, what I have in mind for that is, let's say, this year is our cobblestone generator and the uh, stone generator and the blocks are getting pushed getting pushed over into this direction so whenever we have like a branch for um, for example for this for room that would be right here so I put a torch down there then a piston on this side and when these blocks are getting pushed over they end up here and they're getting powered by this torch and then I have a piston on top, a sticky one, which pushes that block over to that direction and I need of course a block here and on top of this block I have a redstone dust and I want to power that redstone dust with a repeater and that repeater is just gonna end up on top of here and I'll have a block here on top of the redstone torch to power this repeater so whenever I got a block as you can see this thing extends for a second then it, it, yeah, the block gets powered by this repeater which powers this redstone dust down here and this is powering that block here. But this has also a second feature which is pretty cool so let me just lock this thing so normal blocks are getting transported to that direction or pushed in that, that direction and the second feature is, let me quickly make, that, make this vortex as you can see it's a clock now because this redstone dust is also pointing into this block and unpowering that torch and well it makes a cycle and that's pretty useful because then let me just oops instant mine it's pretty crazy let me just make something like this as you can see now I can just push the blocks into that direction on and just go on and fill up the next room so I'm gonna fill up it for first this room then this room this room and then this room and so on and I also for just transporting them into one direction I got a similar design so let me just get rid of the blocks again so at first I can transport them into this direction and then I want to detect them second time like this and I can just turn this design around and have them next to each other which could be pretty useful which is pretty useful actually just like this and just to make this a bit more compact because at the moment as you can see it's kinda wide it's one two three four five six six blocks wide I can <laughs> destroy this over here and turn this part around and have it only four blocks wide so I can fit it in my tunnel down there and this is well music's pretty loud sorry for that and this is the thing I can have them just like this and next block is gonna be interesting so um, well, let me do it like this so I can actually see it Oh yeah, cool, that works. So I put a block there. As you can see, it gets pushed from this one and then from this one because it detects it secondly and then it gets pushed pushed on. And the best thing about this, I can deactivate it, which I'll just show you. Oh, wrong block. Right now, oh, never mind. So just by unpowering this torch here, I can deactivate the system or even this one so 
let me just do it with this one. So if I unpower this torch now, it won't push it anymore. And that's another advantage of this system which I'm gonna use. So I'll just get started with there and I'll show you when I got some progress. So see you right in a moment. Okay guys, it's finished. And more or less likely functional at the moment. The only thing is that I had to get rid of everything again because I forgot this first piston pusher, the first two piston pushers. So I had to rebuild everything again. And the only thing I added was these furnaces on the side of the piston pushers which extend the stone thing. So that's about it. Also what I did is I made all of these clocks facing into this direction. And as you can see I widened the tunnel a lot and that's more or less likely just because I want to start making some sort of room out of it or actually like I said a tunnel and was well I'm, I guess I'm gonna use some obsidian for that because I already used it back there in the farm itself in the and the spawn itself May maybe I will later on change it with never brick it's up to you so that's something I would like to know what do you think shall I just keep on using the obsidian or shall I change and use the never brick that's something I would really like to know from you so as I said it's up to you a second thing texture pack that's another thing I would ask you for a long time but uh, well the last episodes I pretty much forgot it so that's why I just do it now are you okay with my texture pack choice it's the faithful texture pack at the moment and it's a bit edited as you maybe have seen in the ender dragon fight video because my pumpkin blur is changed so it only has some sort of letters up there saying pumpkin on and that's more or less likely just because of recording so you guys can see better and I guess I'm just gonna keep on building this thing here and <laughs> I shouldn't build this here I shouldn't close this off and I think I'm gonna make some sort of glass roof on top here oh well not roof ceiling and I already started cooking some glass in here so as you can see I got a lot of sand which I put in there and it's cooking in my automatic furnace and I guess I have to take a look what I should do with the lighting lighting issue here so what I could do about that because I don't want it to be that dark as it is now yeah, and I make this tunnel exactly 7 wide inside, and the outside it's 9, nine wide. So I got a 1 wide walkway here on the side, so I can easily go in there and man maintain the thing if anything goes wrong. So, as I said, I'm just gonna keep on building here, and we'll see this right again when I got some progress again. See you just in a moment. And I'm back with another status update of my building of the tunnel. And I'm just ready to get the glass and place it everywhere. And as you can see, I got pretty much nice amount of glass at the moment. And this is what I came up with. So far I got one of the jack o lanterns every second block for a good lighting of the area, lighting up the area. So I can actually remove all the torches and might be a bit dark in the middle so maybe I put in another stripe of these blocks I don't know I'll see the top is officially obviously gonna be glass all the way and I have some sort of zigzag lines with the smooth sandstone which I kind of like and well I had ob obviously I had to just let these blocks open same for this one because there's the Mono stable circuit, the piston, the sticky one. And back there, I made some sort of room around the redstone and made a check pattern with jack, uh, jack o' lanterns and endstone. And I have to say, for some reasons, I do like this design. I mean, it looks 
pretty funny. It's very, very bright in here. No mobs can spawn. And I don't have a single torch in here, which is pretty awesome. Of course, I have to change this thing here in the middle, the dirt thing. I just used temporary for my drop to test it. But anyways, let's get back and play some glass. And I guess I'm gonna do this right now. Okay, that thing is done, so the glass floor, uh, glass floor, glass ceiling is there all the way, I placed it. I just have the ladder back there, so there's one block that's not glass yet, actually two because of a trap door. And next thing is going to be the floor, which is probably going to be the last thing I'm going to do today, to go with you in this episode. And for that I got a special plan, I want the clocks to be able to turn off, so... I want to have some sort of detection back there in all these rooms when the room is full. So I can turn off the clock. So for each room there's gonna be detection and turn off these clocks and well these clocks in here. And for these guys here, so the block pushers which push the silverfish blocks all the way into this direction, I'm gonna make some sort of general shut off when all of them are full or at least the last one, because the last one will only get full if all of the other rooms are full. And then I want to have some sort of shut off, which will basically shut down these torches or turn them off. Probably I'm gonna use some torches below for that. And then the clocks should go off. And this will reduce the lag massively, which is gonna be a good thing. So. Let me just get prepared for that, and we'll see you right in a moment. Okay, I'm back, and I prepared everything I need for this now. So, basically, as I said before, I just want to detect when the silverfish rooms are full. And that's made pretty easy. All I need to do is have a block back here and detect with redstone when there's a block above this. Well, actually, when a block is right there. Where the slab is now and I'll just do this with a redstone torch and this redstone torch will power a block that's on top of it and this will then power this sticky piston over here which will then as normal which is nothing special then send power to this redstone dust and let me get some light into this so you can see something. And this should work now, so let's quickly try. Um, well, when I forgot this thing, nothing works. As you can see, this is powered now. <clears throat> and now I want to basically lead this redstone wire back there. Um, back there, uh, back here to this block and unpower this redstone torch because this is one of the ways to deactivate it. Other way would be, maybe I could do that one too. Something like this and I just have to power this block. Maybe I'm gonna do this way, I don't know yet. I sh probably should figure out something now on the creative server, so I guess I'm just gonna hop on a creative map or something like that. Or just do it off camera, which is probably easier, so see you just in a bit. Okay, I figured a way out which I want to use. 
and this is the following. So at first I want to place a block next to these redstone torch uh, these blocks where the repeater are on top and the redstone torches are on the side of it place a redstone dust and then well, I don't want to mine them again. And then I want to do something like the following. Pro but probably I have to do that first. So I'm gonna start with it. I want to have a block down there with a redstone torch on top, which another block is on top of the redstone torch. This is something I didn't think of. Hmm, that might cause an issue. Um, oh, great. Okay guys, I found a solution for my issue, and this is basically it. Two redstone torches, so one down there and one here. They're powering a block. This block here with a redstone dust on top, and this redstone dust just points into this block where the redstone torch is on the side of and powers this repeater, so it unpowers this torch and unpowers this repeater, and because of that, as you will see in a second. The piston up there still extends because of this redstone torch, but all in all, nothing happens. And the torch, uh, the torch, the clock is turned off. So I'm gonna implement this in all of these, and then we'll see this again when I'm done with that. Okay guys, I'm back and I did all the work I said I'm going to do, but I went already one step further and you can see it behind me. I dug out the area above the glass so I can walk and look down there. And as you can see, I put in a floor. I did all of these block detectors and at the moment I placed a block at each one of. So I could test it if the redstone current travels for long enough. Long enough. So you can see back there, there's a block. And I don't have any inner pulse. If I would have some, I would have. Well, jump there. Same for over there. And back there. And just to explain it to you a bit. Yeah, back there is also one. So, this would be the, how to say, central main switch, whatever. Because when this gets on, all of them are getting deactivated. So, this one and all the block pushers and, of course, the other pushers that are going to the other rooms and I'll maybe I'll just make it to manual control so as you can see now this is off and all of the block pushers are still active so only these guys here which push into the other rooms because of the block there and I didn't cut this off they are still active and don't work let me get some wood so I can show you so these don't work, but these here still do, as you can see. So this is the f this is the function of that. And well, as you can see, the redstone travels up to here to the front. Well, as you can see, all rooms, the block pushers are deactivated. And here, I did something else. Oh yeah, some silverfish. And here, as you can see, this powers this. And goes up to the block pressures, but here it's some a bit different because here I go up and then I go there to this block which powers the redstone, which is on top there, as you can see, a small hitbox. Or, yeah, there you go. And this is obsidian, and apparently the spawn is deactivated, so I have to activate it again. Uh, wait, the lighting is deactivated, so I have to activate it again because this will. Surely get a bit annoying. Yeah, and this is some sort of override, so I can always have it deactivated. And, well, I need to have a block there. Yeah, there we go. So that's it for that part. So, as you can see, just a small torch tower going up there. And as I said before, the, red the torch tower gets triggered from down there. 
from this line of redstone so when all of the rooms are full it's gonna go up there into the torch tower and as I showed you before there's a redstone dust and well hmm, wait there should be one yeah there it is as you can see and another thing I changed is the orientation of some of the clocks and the design of the clocks too so as you can see this clock here for example I changed it from one repeater to two rete uh, repeaters at two ticks delay and apparently this is pretty good that I'm looking at it because this repeater is facing into the wrong direction it's need it, this one needs to face into this direction so it makes a circle so it's basically the same concept so this block here pushes the uh, this piston pushes the block there in front of the repeater which is then powering that redstone dust going into that repeater unpowering that torch and so on the reason why I changed, uh, rotated them is because then I could uh, with that change I could just put the redstone um, torches here on the side and I could have a straight line for the redstone here which is a bit more compact and I hope I didn't do that mistake all over the place that would suck a bit but I hope I didn't. I have to take a closer look at that stuff again. But anyways, so this is about it for that stuff. Next thing I should probably start doing is making these rooms silverfish proof so they can't escape because at the moment I have loads of stone here where I could enter the blocks. So I might, I might just go for it and place dirt all over the place just for now. And next episode we could probably take a closer look at it and maybe make a fancy design I don't know or maybe you can even send in some designs that would be cr pretty awesome so the only thing you would uh, you have to know is that this thing here below is 5 high and it's a 13 by 13 room so here you have that row of pistons of course here that block and that's about all and back there so it's 13 by 13 so 13 into this direction, 13 that direction and then here's already the wall so the pistons are the same um, well, they're on the wall, you know so that's about it for that stuff and I guess I'll just make this proof with some dirt, at least one of the rooms and I'll temporarily deactivate the others and just try if it works so I'll try to fill it up bit at least. Wait, let me just activate this um, this stone generator and then we could take a closer look at it right now. So this is the override and this should hopefully work now. So let's see. It's generating stone and all should be fine. At least I hope so. Okay, cool. This works. Oh, and by the way, I also went enchanting a bit more, got some more unbreaking free books, and I repaired my boots. And also, I renamed my complete armor and I put respiration free on that thing. I should equip that pigex again almost broke had like two uses left and I only I only saved it because of that bug when the server thinks that it, uh, the client thinks that something's broken but the server says no it isn't and just puts it into the inventory back again so the pushers seem to work and also the system works the only thing that might be interesting now is if I place a block over here right now for example this thing should continue and go into this direction oh and it does sweet cool so I guess that's it for that stuff let me just turn it off and we'll see it right again and I'm back again I also cleared up all the blocks the stone generator made there 
and I just thought maybe I'll just show you how I get my wood because I probably need to... the idea I have for the design is gonna be pretty expensive wood wise so I thought I'll just get started with the wood already so I don't need to go farming quite um, a lot later on and also spruce wood just looks awesome at least I think so I mean everyone, uh, everyone has a different taste I guess but also I took a look at the footage how long it's already getting and it's getting like 25 minutes or so I think so long already so I think I'll just end the video here because in my opinion this is a pretty good length of the video not too long but not too short maybe that's something you could write in the comments too so if you want to have longer videos or less longer videos you also please also take into consideration that it takes quite a lot of time for me to upload these these videos because of my internet yes I have to say it's not the best internet and also like I asked before I think I can't really remember anymore because it has been like two weeks or so I was busy because of school and I'm still am but I have holiday in like one week or so so I'll get, have a bit more time then so another thing like I said before the question from the texture pack so do you want me to keep on using the faithful pack that I'm using at the moment it's just the standard faithful 32 by 32 texture pack or shall I just stay with the default texture pack so that's another thing I want to know from you so thanks for watching guys hope you liked it and of course see you next time guys bye bye